everyone. Welcome back to Cooking More with Less. This is a place where we cook amazing food with no toxins and no extra fat. And uh, we're inspiring people to try to make great meals for their families, no matter what size your kitchen is and what budget you're working with. So today, I wanted to share my most favorite sandwich out there because there's not a lot of places that you can find bacon right i used to love bacon i ate it a lot when i did eat pork and this is like 25 years ago but if you do like pork you do crave it and if you do like bacon if you weren't a bacon eater like i was you sometimes find yourself saying damn what can i eat that's comparable to bacon and i don't mean all like the soy stuff i mean like real bacon so what i found this is years ago and this has been my my like my my shit this has been my favorite sandwich whenever i'm craving pancakes and bacon or i want a hot pastrami sandwich on rye with mustard or i want like a blt bacon lettuce and tomato i do crave that smoky salty flavor and i don't eat pork so it's like damn what do you do check it out you guys you get sockeye salmon you get wild smoked salmon and these are this one wants to come up my superhero literally has on i love you his batman in his spidey boots okay but today i wanted to show because daddy was like i'm hungry for lunch and i love you yeah you can get down and i had some of these but i wanted to show you guys if you fry graph locks you know how people make locks and bagels if you fry just a straight locks up it will taste like bacon at least it does to me so I've shared it with a couple people privately, but I want to share it with everybody. You basically just cut open your sliced locks, right? And you go in and you fry it up in some olive oil. And it's delicious. It's like oh. the only thing that really reminds me of bacon. So instead of eating it raw, because I'm not really, I don't like it raw, I throw it in some olive oil. So we're gonna go ahead and put our olive oil in our pan and make it happen. So I didn't want daddy to focus on my stove. I have to clean it. I didn't clean it last night. I was exhausted. Sometimes you don't clean your stove every night. And I usually do, because I don't like my stove to be at all dirty. But you know what? I was tired and I freed up. I said, I'm just going to bed. So this is what it is. You just take your sliced locks. You can separate them like so. Put your olive oil on high. And I don't fry anything in, in not in olive oil. So even though some people may use canola or that all that other stuff, I don't use it. I just use olive oil. So I wanted to show you guys how it looks. I drop it in my olive oil, like so, and I fry it up, I fry it up, I fry it up. And I say that because this is really, a lot of people I've told about this, like, yo, you know, it works for me when I want bacon and eggs for the kids, or, and they were like, what, Gravlax? So I shot that out and put this in here in pure love, and I say, this is how you do it. You fry up some $12 Gravlox. Can you move back a little? Because the camera's right up on me. It's too much glare. In it's too much glare? It's okay. It, it can be right up on me. I'll be right here. The salmon is excellent. When it's like 12 you know, this is more expensive. It's Gravlox. Did it do that weird box thing? This here just wanted to let me know how close I was for this to pop and the glare in the window. And I don't even care anymore. I'm just here for the information. I don't have a production studio and it's just us. So I try to make this work in between like doing so many other things that I don't feel I have time to do all the time, but that's not the case. So I said, just grab the damn camera and let's make it happen. So this is what I'm, um, I just wanted to show you how it looks. This is what it looks like frying. You fry it up for a couple minutes on each side and throw it in between some bread. I uh, usually make mine with some avocado some lettuce and some tomato on whole wheat bread or whatever bread I have in the house. So we're gonna make that happen. And the more it smells this, it's weird. When it starts to fry, it even kind of reminds me of like an expensive bacon, like in maple syrup or hickory. So this is what it is. Instead of getting the, the Gravlox for cream cheese and for bagels, I just take it and fry it up. And I'm telling you, when this is done, throw it on a piece of paper towel to absorb the extra oil and throw it in your favorite sandwiches. Put it on the side of your pancakes when you're eating pancakes or waffles, and it's delicious. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. How to make your own pork-free bacon sandwich. And I'm not talking about soy. 
or like the faking bacon but I'm talking stuff that really is food real food substances that you can kind of freak and um, supplement for other things in your life because there's a supplement for everything if you want chocolate chip cookies there's uh, an alternative wheat free gluten free whatever that your diet is requesting you can find it out there so we're just frying this up real quick I'm gonna take my bread out and show you guys how it looks you can keep the camera rolling because it's only a couple minutes Sometimes I find myself rushing because the Sierra's like, my phone's ringing, I gotta, and I'm like, I know. There's gonna be a time in my life where I don't have to lure a female or a friend to help out with stuff like this, but everybody is um, so busy paying their bills and getting rent paid and accomplishing their dreams. Who has time to help little old me with a damn camera? But I wanted to show you guys how it looks when you flip it. See that little color on the back? It's starting to crisp and get crispy on the sides. Go ahead and turn it off. Because it's done more, and I need five minutes. You fry it for five minutes on each side. Thank you, Asir. I'm trying to think of a way to, like, uh, Apple doesn't have tripods for small, like, cameras. And also just other, you know, other things to, to tape with. When you have an Apple computer, these things don't work well with other cameras unless you have some program. And that is not my focus. My focus is on cooking great food and trying to inspire myself to uh, know that I can have the energy to raise them more and still work out and still find the time to do my breathing exercises and still have time to be there for other people. You know, I rarely, I said just the other day, you spend one day a week with yourself and it's almost not enough. So. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just assemble the sandwich. Have my little piece of avocado ready. And I'm telling you, this is like, I sometimes am like, I got to get some salmon. Just so that I can add a little protein with all of my goodness. And you see, I just put the extra piece of avocado that didn't get used in our salad last night. I just put it in the fridge in a piece of avocado, in a piece of foil. And I'm just cutting it up. I like kind of cutting up around the parts that get a little brown because I do like using the the non-oxidized parts but who cares avocado is avocado and it's really really good in omega-3s it's excellent for your skin and for your hair and it's a great supplement for people that uh, don't also want to eat all of the um all the other type of fatty foods out there there's good fats that's what I was trying to express and this is one of them so this literally is like a, a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. I'm going to just go ahead. And again, they have these really good um, organic greens out now that you can get at a local store. So I go ahead and throw some of those on a sear sandwich. And I, um, I assembled it. He likes mayonnaise, so I put mayonnaise on one side. Mayonnaise and a little gray poupon. And again, this didn't come from, you know, rocket science of, oh my goodness, how am I going to prepare? It, it really can deter you from getting something accomplished. So sometimes when I look in my space, again, it's to push through and to know that, hey, what I have is enough. What I come with today is enough. I am complete the way I am. So I'm just leaving a little piece on the side because I'm more really likes to eat it. Mm -hmm. it's just like bacon my gosh it's so weird and I found this by happenstance like what happens if I fry this up very good you like it Morsi? Mm -hmm. so I have my little fake BLT lettuce avocado I see it say he's not really a fan of tomatoes so I'm not going to put them in the sandwich but this was for him so I have my leftover piece of salmon, and this is the way it looks. <laughs> nice and crispy. Nice and good. I'll make you a little something with yours, okay? Yes. Thank you, babe. So that's cooking more with less. Again, you can have like your bacon sandwiches or whatever you crave without all the drama. And I wanted to share my favorite discovery, which is Gravlox Fried. Fry it up, put some maple syrup on the side next to your pancakes or your waffles. It's exactly like bacon. And bacon lovers, please write me and tell me. Say, you know, 
I tried it and it did taste like bacon so I don't have to eat as much pork. That'll make me as happy as I can't even tell you. If we all stopped eating pork, I do think that people would literally use the bath, the, their vibrational frequency would rise. I'm trying not to curse because I know that there's kids that may be white, white watching, but yo, S-H-I-T will be better. Everything in your life will just kind of free up. And you're like, from pork? Yes, from pork. This is the ish. I want it to be the ish for you and your family. Remember that you can eat great stuff and you don't have to have an amazing space. You can live off of food stamps. Um, I, would, I would love to experience that. But I say that to say that no matter what your financial situation is, try to think of being able to create foods that not only make you feel good, but that will celebrate your family and will allow us to feel good in the long run. So thinking of tomorrow and not just today. Cooking more with less. Thank you so much, you guys. I'll be back. Peace. One, two, what you wanna do? do? Three, four, cause we gonna give you more. Five, six, and we ain't the tricks. tricks. Seven, eight, and we got it straight. A nine, ten, cause we make it blend. Eleven, twelve, never ever going for self. Try core quest situation. Check it out.